Welcome back to Ghost Stories with the Ghost Brother. I'm your ghost brother, Dalen Spratt. And on this episode, I'm going to get a little personal. I'm going to tell you about the first time I touched a dead body. But before I do any of that, I need for you to do two things for me. First, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so I can keep these stories coming. And number two, you got to set the mood. So cut those lights off, get in a quiet place, and open those ears up. Because I got a story for you. So literally, the first question I get from everybody is, dang, Dayla, when was your first paranormal experience? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I had to be about seven years old, and that's when this story takes place. Now, give or take the year, because I don't know my exact age. This is a time reference, a time frame. So I'm going to go with seven, eight, nine, in that area. <clears throat> So I happened to go visit my grandmother, right? So my grandmother stays in West Texas, a really, really small town called McCamey, Texas. I remember going back there back then. They even had a white pool and a black pool. It wasn't technically white and black then, but back in the day it was, but it just carried that name over. So they had a white church, a black church. This is a very small town and everyone knew everybody. So this one break I was there, and I'll never forget, I had an older cousin. So mind you, I'm about seven, eight, nine. She had to be about 19, 20, 21 at the time, right? So she had a best friend that used to always come over and hang out with her. But see, her best friend was dating this guy. And this guy, I think they said he worked for like the animal, uh, animal patrol or the animal control people, the people that go out there and get loose animals. <laughs> and this is a small town, like, oil field town so like i'm talking about hot flatlands oil uh rigs and stuff out there man this is that type of town right so one crazy day he snaps they get into a dispute he goes out to his car gets his gun comes back into the house he shoots her and then shoots himself now this is where the story gets crazy she survives Glory to God, she survived, but this guy did not. He died, right? So again, like I said, everyone in this town knows everybody. So my grandmother decided to go to the funeral home to view the body of this young man that just did this terrible, tragic incident, right? So my grandmother takes me. So it's literally me, my grandmother, and my grandmother's best friend. I will never forget walking into this funeral home. My first time ever in a funeral home, right? Walking in and at the front of the church, the sanctuary, I remember seeing this casket. So nervously at seven, I'm walking up to this casket. My grandmother's next to me. Her friend is next to her. But as soon as we get to the casket, I remember looking up and peering in. And there was this young man laying there and I always remember what he was wearing. It was a light gray suit, a white shirt, and a thin black tie. And I remember just looking into the casket and thinking to myself, he genuinely looks like he was asleep. And I asked my grandmama, I was like, Granny, why it look like he just sleep? And she gonna sit up and tell me, oh man, the funeral home did a great job. You just make sure I come here when it's my time. Dang, you got me making funeral arrangements at seven? But okay, cool. But this is where it gets crazy. My grandmother's best friend, this lady looked at me at seven years old and said to me, Dalen, have you ever touched a dead body? Whoa, lady. Now, if I said yes, you would have been calling them people on my grandma and get me put to a children's home. But no, ma'am, I have never in my life touched a dead body. This woman, my grandmother's best friend, let's just call her Miss Shirley. Miss Shirley grabbed my hand, my seven-year-old petite child hand, and put it on the chest of this man in the casket. I remember with all the fear in my body looking up at my grandmother like, you not gonna do nothing to this? First of all, my grandma was too old to be hanging around bad influences. That felt like a, a, a gang initiation going wrong. Like they trying to jump me into the old folks home or something. Man, listen, I snatched my hand back so quick and ran 
like I had never ran before out of this funeral home. But that night, I'm at my grandmother's house, laying on the couch. It's literally about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. I remember waking up for some reason. It felt like something just shook me. And I shook awake, and I looked from the living room where I was laying down into the kitchen. And standing in the door frame on the kitchen was that same young man wearing that light gray suit, white shirt, and a thin black tie. He was staring directly at me. I remember screaming at the top of my lungs. And if you grew up, when I grew up, your grandmama always kept plastic on that couch. I wasn't supposed to be sleeping on the couch in the first place. But she came in saying, boy, what's wrong with you? She grabbed me and pulled me. I'm stuck to the, to the plastic. <laughs> I had to pull off. I'm screaming and pointing and pointing and pointing. She looks into the kitchen and nothing is there. I remember just being, I, I want to say I used the bathroom on myself, but I know what I saw and who I saw. And it was that same young man. Now, being older, I'm 36. I've done a ton of investigations and I've really, really looked into the paranormal. What I believe to have happened was what I call an attachment. I think by me touching that body, it felt how afraid and how the fear, the emotions, that I had and it attached to that and it followed me. But I think it realized that it scared me and it wasn't wanted. And maybe it felt like it had hurt enough people and left. I have never to this day seen that person again, that spirit, that entity or whatever it was. But what I do want to do is see if I can go back and find the an article and maybe find a picture of that young man because I wanna see if that image jogs a memory this has been ghost stories with a ghost brother i'm your ghost brother dalen spratt and again if you want more stories like this more true stories make sure you like comment and subscribe to this channel and i'll be sure to keep them coming until next time